And her name was Rendersella. Rendersella lived with her muggly other and her two sad blisters. Rendersella was in charge of all the wordy dirt. She had to flop the moors and pick up the fog goop and walk the chud. She was a good chud whopper. But she did all this wordy dirt while her two sad blisters sat on their fig bannies, cheating omelets and magging a read scene. You believe that? Not a word. <laughs> now in this same corn country, there lived a very prancing hens. Very prancing, he was on the cover of QG. Now this prancing hens was going to have a fancy fall, so he invited people for riles of my own, especially the pitch people. So Rendersella's muggly other and her two sad blisters, they went out to buy some dancy fresses for the fancy ball. But Rendersella couldn't go. All she had to wear was some old rooty tags. So she just cat down and shrugged. There's a gas leak in here. <laughs> it's not just the beans. <laughs> when she was kidding there, trying, and knowing her blows, <laughs> when all of a sudden there was a blinding flash of light, and there appeared before her, mm-hmm, her Gary Mutt father. Glowing like the sun and wearing a tink poo poo. <laughs> you shouldn't talk that way. It was a tutu. Poo poo. Man, it was a tutu. You, know, you know it was a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> he touched Render Cellar with his magic wand. Oh! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> he touched Render Cellar with his wagic mon and all of a sudden appeared before her a kid boach and Hicks white sources. <laughs> to carry Render Cellar to the Banshee Hall. The Uber guy was busy. <laughs> But he said, you must be home before midnight, or I will puff and I'll huff and I'll hoe your blouse down. <laughs> Gra Granny, I think you got on the wrong story, didn't you? Did I cross over? <laughs> Judging by the way you're dressed, I'd have to say yes. <laughs> I made a mistake. I, I got on to the story of the pea little frigs. That's right. And the story of the big wet book. He said, you must be home before Nick Miner. I will turn you into a Tonkin. That's what he said. So Rinderzella went to the fancy fall. And the first two people she ran into, her sissy uglers. <laughs> but she was such a babbishing Rudy, you could hardly cinderize her, Canella. Now, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> now, eventually, the prancing hands, he found his way over to render cell, and he tapped her on the shoulder and said, Then he took his mask off. <laughs> and said, May I dab this hand? <laughs> oh, she's a base. <laughs> and then ran 
and sexy. That's right, we're cougars. She did go to BYU. Not BYU, it's YBU. Renderzella said yes, and they danced all night. Till then, bye. And they fell in foe. It was like they got shot with one of Puket's arrows. <laughs> oh, wow. He's shooting arrows at me. Is he peacefully protesting? Mostly peaceful. But when the mid clock struck night, Rinder Sally and a dead mash staced down the rares. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> it was lovely. Yeah, good job, Donnie. <laughs> but it sounded like you were stacing up the rares. We're stacing down the rares. Down the rares. Rinder or sell it and a dead mash stace down the rares. She wasn't a slinky. Give me one more try. Brenda Sally and a dad match stays down the rear. She was fast. She must have been writing toilet paper. I ho Sherman. Brenda Sally stays down the rear, and when she beats the rodham. She slopped her dripper. <laughs> she did. Now the prince of hens, he found the slash clipper. And he held it high above his head and said, Gore the pearl who sucked that clipper gets shall be granny. What do you want now, Spanky? <laughs> Say that again. She didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a fool who said this flipper cat <laughs> shall be my wedded wife. Wedded wife. <laughs> Did you get that one? <laughs> <laughs> so the very next day, the prince of hits searched all over the corn country for the beautiful girl who slopped her dripper. <laughs> When he arrived at Render Sella's house, he tried to slash Glipper on the mugly other. Didn't did. <laughs> and then he tried to slash Glipper on her two sisty uglers. Didn't did them either. They couldn't even get their kick bow in. <laughs> but when he tried to slash Glipper on Render Sella, yeah. the foosh! Oh, 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 oh. What are you talking about? Freddie, you can't do stuff. You are getting out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, do you know what? You need to straighten up. You yeah, straighten up. What's the matter with you? Uh -huh. <laughs> a family show. Yes. I'm part of the family. <laughs> Franny, you know better than that. Now, come on. Come up with a better way to say that stuff. I got to drink that. I got to drink that. You're mumbling again, Granny. I think she just cussed me out in Caesarea. <laughs> <laughs> when he tried to slash Glipper on Render Cella, it fit. Did. <laughs> That's better. That's it was just a sight rise. 
So Rendersella and the Branch of Mints were married and lived heavily after afterwards. <laughs> now the story of the war is, if you want to go to a Banshee Fall and have a Branch of Mints law deeply in fun with you, don't forget to slop your dripper. There you go. Good night, man.